Hey everybody, my name is Mark. Today we had a nice surprise show up at our office, a Blackberry Venice. Looks like an evaluation unit. So, us being us, I thought let's take a look. Let's see what this device can do. Let's take a look at the hardware. I know there's a lot of you out there that are kind of interested in having a Blackberry device running Android. So, jumping right into it, if we're looking at the device, one thing we noticed right away is it looks to have tap to wake, go right into the device software, very Android-ish, have our app drawers, and what makes the Venice a neat unit is the slide-out keyboard. And just like a BlackBerry Passport, it also reads with a biometric sense touch, so you can actually swipe up and down. This would be great if you were looking at websites, uh, reading documents. You could just simply use your fingers to slide up and down and go through your documents. We noticed something else that was kind of neat, and whether or not this stays in the uh, final software, again, I have to stress this is an evaluation unit that made its way into our channel, but as you'll notice, BlackBerry Hub, Google Services, and Global or Universal Search on the device. And if it works like other BlackBerry 10 devices, this should allow you to search the web, search for contacts on your device, search documents, almost anything within the device. So. I think this is a great improvement, great way to go through and find information. You'll notice on the screen we've got our Google search bar at the top. We have our Google notification bar. So this is just, you know, marvelous. For those of you that are into Android and really like the services, there you go. Spin the device so you can see where some of the controls are. So you've seen the slide out keyboard. And one thing I have to stress is for those of you that were using a torch, um, where that unit ended or tended to be sort of bottom heavy or top light and a lot of them would flip out of the hand I have to say one thing about this it is very comfortable whether you're using it closed or open so let me just spin this through you can see the screen is very slim nicely housed into the chassis very easy to slide up and down no problems whatsoever uh, underneath this packing seal we've got a camera button on the opposite side we have our, your volume rockers and your convenience key in the center, smart action key. So BlackBerry users would be very akin to how this device is laid out. Across the bottom, we've got our micro USB port. Uh, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Uh, if we scroll across the top, you'll have micro SD. Uh, looks to be, uh, you'll probably use a pin to eject it and your SIM card tray. I'm assuming this would be a noise cancelling uh, microphone or it could just be a microphone for picking up audio at the top and across the bottom uh, well, I don't really see a, a microphone jack but the one thing I do see this huge speaker grill we haven't been able to test this but if you take a close look I mean that is assuming that's a full-fledged speaker underneath the housing I'm assuming that would be quite loud just like most Blackberry devices and I would say earpiece across the top not sure if there's anything embedded or hidden into the uh, into those ports as well and if we scroll over onto the back the one thing you notice right away is that huge camera bezel but I hope you like this video hopefully it gives you a little bit more information on this device truly hoping that we get this into the Canadian market again this is an evaluation unit we were lucky enough just to get our hands on it and it's going to be going back on its way to where it's supposed to be so for those of you looking for this device keep your fingers crossed and hopefully you'll come to your channel soon.